Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about what seems to be a resolution to one of the mysteries in the universe. The mystery of galaxies that seem to possess almost no dark matter whatsoever. Or at least one of these galaxies we've discovered two years ago that was very different from everything we've seen in the universe. The galaxy that possessed very little to possibly no dark matter. The mystery that we discussed about two years ago. But now we seem to have a conclusive evidence suggesting we kind of know what exactly happened there and can possibly explain other galaxies as well. So let's talk a little bit more about this in a little bit more detail. Beginning with the first assumption that dark matter is some kind of a particle or some kind of a substance surrounding the galaxies in the way you see in the picture here. It's the stuff in blue. We don't really know what it's made of, we don't really know what exactly or how exactly it behaves compared to the other matter in the universe, but we know it doesn't seem to interact with a lot of things. And it only seems to interact with regular matter through gravity. And all of this mathematically and also physically makes total sense. But because we're having trouble identifying the exact particle, that's why some people stop believing in it. Although this is not really a matter of belief. It's the matter of observation and observational evidence definitely suggests that dark matter is real. But anyway, there are so many other videos on the channel that talk more about this, today let's focus on these mysterious galaxies. So only roughly around a year ago, we actually discovered 19 more of these unusual galaxies, which were all surprisingly lacking dark matter. And the reason we knew so is because of various globular clusters we were able to identify and analyze in these galaxies, and then when comparing this to the mass of visible matter, that is stars and gas, we realized that it was just lacking a lot of the mass, and that mass was supposed to be dark matter mass. There was unfortunately no better explanation other than they seem to be lacking dark matter. And the best example is the galaxy you see right here, this is the picture taken by Hubble, this is the galaxy known as NGC 1052 DF4. NGC 1052 is actually the larger galaxy next to it, the galaxy you see on the left. The spiral galaxy on the right is known as NGC 1042. But right between them, somewhere in the darkness of space, there are actually several other dwarf galaxies, and one of them kind of looks like this. And this is essentially one of these galaxies that seems to be lacking dark matter. It also has a neighbor, NGC 1052 DF4, which also was found not so long after and also seemed to be lacking dark matter as well. And several different studies tried to see if they can explain this differently, and so far every study seemed to have confirmed the lack of dark matter in these galaxies. In other words, they seem to possess only visible matter, only stars and gas, and overall their mass is very very small. So the stuff that usually represents the majority of the mass in a galaxy is totally not there. And also just for fun I wanted to show you this picture from a study we recently discussed as well, not so long ago. And this is another dwarf galaxy where the situation is pretty much the opposite. This galaxy has a tremendous amount of dark matter. As a matter of fact, it's almost as massive as the Milky Way galaxy. But notice how they actually kind of look similar. They both contain very, very small amounts of visible matter and stars. But in terms of the total mass, they are completely different. We're talking about like thousands and thousands of time difference. And so that's why trying to analyze and understand how all of this works is something a lot of scientists have been trying to do for the past two years. Now the mystery of this dark matter galaxy, the one that has a lot of dark matter, has recently been solved. You can check out the video about this somewhere uh, over there. But so what's happening with these things? And also why is it so surprising that the galaxy has no dark matter? And the reason is in our explanations for how the universe formed and in how different galaxies structure themselves and stuff around them. All of the computer simulations we have and pretty much all of the analysis so far requires dark matter to be a kind of a foundation for various gas and for various stars to be formed, thus creating the galaxies. In essence, the fabric of the universe itself, the actual structure of the universe, depends directly on the presence of dark matter. The cosmic web, the galaxies, everything in those galaxies, all of the clusters, they have to have dark matter as a kind of a building block in the beginning for everything else to kind of get stuck to it and then start forming. So no dark matter means no galaxy should exist there. So how did this come to be if it has no dark matter in it? Is this some sort of an anomaly, some sort of a strange creation that defies physics? Or is it something very, very easy to explain? And turns out it's the latter. Turns out that it's actually pretty easy to explain where dark matter went. 
All of this thanks to amazing new observations coming out of Hubble telescope that was able to focus on this location for a pretty long time, allowing us to discover more stuff in this region and thus analyze what's really happening here. Although actually another observatory known as Tide Observatory was used for this as well, using the telescope known as IAC-80, which allowed us to take this picture here, with the galaxy in question being right in the middle. Now first of all, the galaxy known as NGC-1052, in terms of the space distances, in terms of galaxy distances, is actually not that far from us. You could technically see it if you had a telescope, but its tiny neighbor that's about 45 million light years away from Earth is unfortunately very very difficult to see because there's just not enough stars here. So you really need to have a very powerful telescope, like I don't know, some kind of a space telescope for example, to be able to see what's going on here in detail. And well, let's try to answer this mystery, once and for all. So what's happening here? Well, according to the scientists in this paper, the culprit and the answer to the mystery is actually, is actually right here, another galaxy. The galaxy known as NGC 1035. Apparently, this galaxy right here is breaking apart the nearby dwarf galaxies and is essentially what's known as tidally disrupting them. It's basically doing this. Because of the tidal forces coming from the larger, more massive galaxy, the smaller galaxy is basically being slowly stripped apart. It's also being spaghettified to some extent. But in this particular case, it seems that the tidal disruption started with the dark matter. The dark matter was essentially grabbed and stretched away from the galaxy, leaving behind all of the stars. Which of course kind of makes sense because dark matter is distributed over a much larger volume and is more likely to be sort of sucked out of the galaxy first. Although maybe not everything here is so clear cut and not everything makes sense just yet. But how did they even discover all of this? Well, what the scientists did is what we usually do. They looked for more globular clusters. They tried to identify as many globular clusters in the vicinity of this galaxy and tried to see what those globular clusters were doing in regards to the galaxy and in regards to the nearby neighborhood. And normally because globular clusters are so compact and they have so many stars in them, they're relatively easy to discover and at the same time they normally represent very major times in the galaxy when suddenly a lot of stars were formed. So by studying global clusters, we can usually see what's happening to the galaxy and we can also see if there were any major galactic collisions or other galactic events. So for example, that's how we know that the Milky Way galaxy had several collisions in its past. We know there's about 150 of global clusters, around 150, in the Milky Way and by studying them, we can kind of study the history of Milky Way. So by studying these things in other galaxies, we can generally discover what's happening in them as well. And the current alignment of these clusters suggests that the galaxy is currently being stripped, tidally stripped by something else massive and kind of pointing toward the nearby NGC 1035. Several so-called tidal tails were also identified, suggesting that this is indeed what's happening to this particular galaxy. It's being shredded or tidally stripped apart by another massive object. And although most of the galaxy is still intact, about 7% of the visible mass has already left the galaxy and is being slowly, well I guess you can call it spaghettified, but basically it's being stretched apart by the tidal forces from NGC 1035. With the major implication in the study being that the dark matter has already left the galaxy. In other words, it left first and now all of the mass is following it as well. And we've actually seen these disconnects between visible matter and dark matter in the past as well. The best example is in the bullet cluster, where the visible matter and the dark matter interacted slightly different from one another. And so it shouldn't really come as a surprise that somehow the galaxy was first stripped of dark matter and is now being stripped of stars, with the more compact stars in the middle still sort of sticking together, but eventually they will also be all kind of stripped apart and most likely either become part of the NGC 1035 or become lonely rogue objects moving across the universe. But this only solves the mystery for this particular galaxy. We are not entirely sure if this is what happened to the other 19 galaxies, but chances are that that's maybe what's happening to them as well. It's maybe some sort of a tidal stripping effect from the nearby massive galaxies. And also by solving this one mystery, we can now sort of officially confirm that no physics were broken when we discovered this galaxy and also nothing unusual that we don't know is happening in any of these galaxies to begin with. 
They're not lacking dark matter for any other reason other than it was just being stolen from them by something more massive and more influential. Something that we know naturally happens everywhere in the universe. Galactic collisions. And so in that sense, this is actually really good news. We were able to solve a very important mystery without changing any laws of physics or coming up with some other unusual dark blank. Anyway, so that's a pretty cool discovery, definitely something to look forward to, especially as it's confirmed or as new discoveries are made in regards to this galaxy. For now though, check out the paper in the description below, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and most importantly, come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Maybe support this channel on Patreon or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt. And either way, I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.